we were the dreamers of a dream. That dark yesterdays of man's inhumanity to man would soon be transformed into bright tomorrows of justice. Some information, man? No, I just appreciate what y'all are doing. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. We're just people who hold the same ideas about abortion, right. abolitionist ideas, which right. are like basically biblical ideas. Right. Uh, contrary to what the pro-life movement does at large. Um, we just put those to action in our local communities and we gather around into a local abolitionist society. Okay. Um, we think that like the church is obligated to do something about it more Absolutely. than just like preach right. once a year, or, like right. donate to a crisis pregnancy center. Like right. that's every church's excuse. Every Christian's excuse is like, well, it's not my calling. Uh, I pray about it. And I'm just like, yeah, if the priest and Levi had, you know, stopped and prayed for the beaten man on the side of the road, Jesus wouldn't have been like, yeah, they were a neighbor to that guy. You know? So we think that uh, Christians need to wake up from their apathy. Yeah, exactly. There needs yeah. to be revival in the church. If you look at this diagram we have in there, there's a graphic image, but there's a, a diagram of a satellite. This is like Houston, I think. Church, 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 abortion clinic. Wow. How is that possible? We're just saying Christians wake up. Like, right. if you lived in Nazi Germany, people like to think, like Christians are like, yeah, I would have been Dietrich Bonhoeffer. I would have been standing opposed. Like, no, you're not, because you're, you're, not living, doing it now. you're living in Nazi yeah. Germany right now, and you're exactly. just, like, walking by on the other side of the road. Well, actually, um, when you look at, you know, the actual numbers, it's oh, staggering. Yeah. It's so much more. Yeah. So there, it's 56 million around is, like, the estimate since right. 1973. It's, like, 8 to 11 million in the Nazi Holocaust. Yeah. But check this out. We think that the Christians in Nazi Germany were cowards, that they didn't stand up for the Jews. Right. But if they would have stood up, what would have happened? concentration camp for them right right but they still should have stood up exactly. they still should have opposed Hitler what happens if we stand up for abortion here you got people eating their food they're like get away I'm mad at you I'm trying to enjoy my Sunday I'm trying to enjoy my meal I'm trying to enjoy the game I'm on vacation flipping you out right like that's all that's gonna happen well, so why shouldn't I stand up for my unborn neighbor yeah you know what I'm saying Definitely. how is it possible in a nation that has that many churches dotting every corner of every landscape, right? There's something wrong with our Christianity. It's it's you know, and, and it, it's been said to me before, but it's really apathy which which plagues this country. It is. It's uh, it's really. Uh, it's the lukewarm church that Christ exactly. said he's going to vomit out of his mouth. Exactly. And people think that they're like living the Christian life because they go to a building every Sunday. Right. And the early church turned the world upside down. My 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 question though is, I think a, a lot like um, sl with with slavery is, whenever they would expose it to people who owned slaves, it would actually um, anger them to the point where it created bitterness, mm -hmm. and they actually wanted to uh, fight those people, showing them that even that much more. But it was not until they actually showed it to people who were already on their side. When they showed them the violent images, yeah. it was then that it created zealous people. Yeah, and that's what you need. So, my, I mean, my thinking is is or or not my thinking, just kind of an idea that's out there is, I think that this should be done at Christian churches. We, I think standing outside of Christian churches yeah. with this Check will this create out. more. Churchrepaint.com. Okay. We go to Christian churches like Orthodox, pro-life, right. we're against abortion churches that after we've like spent months of time trying to contact them and say, hey, how can we help you like love your unborn neighbor? Like we want to show you how to do it because yeah. you're, you know, you might be supporting your CPC, but that's all you're doing. And that's really the minimum. Yeah. Oh, and that one sermon a year that you preach on Sink Your Life Sunday. <laughs> yeah. So like if they're like, no, we're not going to do any more. Our calling is this, that we're keeping the main thing, the main thing, and that's preaching the gospel. We're like, yeah, we think the gospel is the answer to abortion, you know. Um, we, we do.